Welcome to the support videos for workload automation video series. In this video, we will create a systemd service to stop and start control agent. This is needed on new Linux versions such as Linux Red Hat 7. Today, we will be working on a Red Hat Enterprise Linux server release 7.5. For this process, you will need root or system administrator level access. First, we need to create the unit file. This describes how systemd will manage the control agent. Typically, this will be in Etsy systemd system. Here we see other unit files. You can use any name you like that's unique. We'll call ours ctmagent.service. The following is a template that can be used for the control agent service. The same template is found in knowledge article 106213 in case you are only viewing the video. Let's create the unit file with this content. I will be using the VI editor, but you can use any one you are comfortable with. Here I already have the template copied into the file. Now we need to modify the file. We will need to change the agent underscore home underscore there in square brackets to our actual installation path. This is for a control agent that was installed with control server. Its home directory is slash home slash ctm919 slash ctm underscore agent. For a standalone control agent, you will not need the ctm underscore agent directory in the path. Let's make our changes. And we'll go ahead and save it. To verify the path, you can check if the rc.agent underscore user script is in the correct location. Let's go and quit. Let's check the path. And it looks OK. Now change permissions on the new file with the schmod command. I'll go ahead and do a schmod 644 ctmagent.service. Afterwards, we'll reload systemd so that it will recognize our new unit file. This is done by running systemctl space daemon reload. Now we need to enable our new service. Since the service was called ctmagent.service, we'll enable it with this command systemctl enable ctmagent.service. We can now test our script. Let's do a stop. Let's check the status. Looks like it shut down correctly. Let's do a start on the control agent service. Let's check the status. And it looks like it started up correctly. Now our control agent service should be able to start up automatically when the system is rebooted. Thank you for watching. This concludes this control solution video. Please see our knowledge base and YouTube channel for more videos like this.